Okay. Okay. Try to adjust my laptop. Ah, that's not gonna work. Hey everybody! Hey, Miss Sherry, how are you? I hope you're doing good. Now, I'm going to be looking at three different things today. I'm going to be looking at the comments down here, the cameras right here, and then a monitor's on the other side. So you see my eyeballs floating all over the place. Hi, Miss Darlene, how are you? Today's Monday. That's all I'm going to say. Today is Monday. Good, Sherry. I'm glad. Um, I hope you guys had a great weekend. Did you have a good weekend? Hi, Miss Alice. Let me know if you can hear me okay. We're still testing the new camera out. We are so excited about this camera, but I will tell you, if you guys ever get, oh no, Rose, but you're from Virginia. Okay, we're in Virginia. <gasps> Happy birthday, darling. Oh, oh, a big one. Does it include a zero? <laughs> I know Mondays are, uh, uh, Alice, Mondays are a trip. Hi, Miriam. How are you? Just let me know if you can hear me okay. You know what? I walked out the door yesterday. You know it's usually hot or cool. I walked out the door yesterday and I was... Uh, for a reason. It ends in five. Okay. It's still a big one. <laughs> I don't want to tell nobody's age. Oh, I'm so excited to see you guys this morning. Or to me, it's morning because I went to bed late last night. Uh, your favorite day is Friday, Alice. Okay. my. Where are you in Virginia? I am in... Um, Right now, I'm in Culpeper, Kelly, Spotsylvania. Rhonda's on Culpeper, Remington, Virginia line. Hi, Suzette. You caught me on time today. Oh, my gosh. Today's a good day to catch you guys, huh? <gasps> Flurries, darling. You know, a lot of people are getting these white snowflakes. I swear. Too soon, but it's going to be cold all week here anyway okay let's start off i am so excited all you girls are here oh makes my day y'all make me smile um i'm kathy with sassy silver sisters rep whoops representing where are you right there i don't know if you can see it or not because it's kind of dark in the background with this new um new uh camera and then um Today is um, Monday, November 14th, 2022. We're live right now. We'll, I don't know. We'll be live as long as this camera allows me to be up to a certain point. It's usually a half an hour, 45 minutes. It depends on the conversation we get into. Um, so let's ask Alexa. Uh, and I'll tell you a story about the camera in a minute. Alexa. What's the weather in Culpeper, Virginia? Right now in Culpeper, it's 47 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Today's forecast has mostly sunny weather with a high of 50 degrees and a low of 26 degrees. Do you also like the current humidity? Yes. Right now, the humidity is 48%. Oh. Okay, Alexa, tell me a joke. What did the tortilla chip say to the cheese? It's not your business. It's not your business. <laughs> That's a good one. I know, darling. I noticed that. Um, but that's good. I mean, 
Well, no, we're on StreamYard. StreamYard flips it. If we, if, whenever you see the rolling uh, stuff in the bottom there, uh, on the bottom of the screen, look on the bottom of the screen, the rolling pink and white letters, that means we're, and you see up at the top it says StreamYard. That flips it for us. That's the reason I like StreamYard. Um, but we had a hard time trying. I, th I think they're in competition with each other. Had a hard time doing it with YouTube at the same time. So it just wasn't working out. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not tech. I, I don't know about technology. But I try. you got to give me credit. Me and mom are trying. 32. Oh, yeah, I know. That's cold, darling. I don't know. I'm not looking forward to winter. I know you guys aren't either. I don't know. Some people love winter. I don't know why. That's their business. Okay, so I'm just drinking coffee and the rest of my creamer. Love my cup. It's got the sisters on it. It's got our nans on it. We ordered this along. Oh, I forgot. You got to go up easy. I don't know if you can read it or not. Oh, I see. It's not... With the new camera, it takes a minute to focus. Hang on. Got to do it slowly. We're our own little gang. I don't know. That's too slow for me. There we go. There we go. Kathy, Rhonda, and Kelly. Uh, Rhonda's birthday is tomorrow, y'all. Um, she is. I'm not telling you how old she is. I let her do that. Uh, but anyway, we're celebrating her birthday on Thursday when we get together. Um, don't forget to tune in. We'll give you the instructions on our big Christmas giveaway. Um, that's Thursday, uh, November 17th, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Yay, Suzette, I'm glad. That's good. That's good. How long is he going to be there? Is he going to live there? Is he going to, what is he doing? Or just the holidays? Yeah, I know, darling, snow is only good if you snowmobile, but I don't want, to. you know, when I was a kid, I loved snow. But then when I started to, to drive in it, that was all she wrote. No, 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 no. You could, oh, yeah, Rhonda's, um, um, Rhonda will be celebrating her birthday with us on Thursday. We're excited. Um, this is how all this got started. I know I'm repeating myself, but for people that don't know, our Facebooks, our blog, everything started. Let's see. Um, I've got a note. Our anniversary on Facebook is 11. 313. So in 2013, uh, uh, we started our Facebook. Oh, Alice lives in Whitney, Texas. It's probably a little bit warmer there, huh? Um, oh, okay, Suzette. Well, as long as you got your sunny boy with you. Yay! Anyway, so... Um, it all started with the with us getting together on birthdays. We had lunch together. Then it went, let's try new restaurants. And then it went, Rhonda's idea was, let's video, because we were doing a blog. Is the 18th? Okay, cool. Um yeah, Rhonda, I'll let her know if she if she doesn't watch this, I'll let her know that um, you guys are wishing her a happy birthday because um, we all want the good vibes. Good vibes. You know what? We did that, Sherry. We did that. I'd be scared to do it now because <laughs> it's I'm becoming, you know, like, I don't know. I don't trust. I don't have my own yard. I live in an apartment, so I don't trust anybody else's yard. But anyway, um, 
Oh, it's cold in Whitney. Okay. Um, we used to make snow cream. Mom taught us how to do it. She's from Maine. So we used to make snow cream. Are you talking about a treat? I loved it. Um, I mean, that was something, you know, the kids could do. Don't, don't need adult supervision kind of thing, you know. That was a treat. So I taught my kids to do it. And then I don't think the kids taught. I don't know if my son taught his kids or not. But snow cream is the is the only snow cream and getting out of school <laughs> is the only good thing about snow. It is good, isn't it, Jan? It's like it's a treat. You know, be careful where you get your snow. No yellow snow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let me read the holidays. I'm getting sidetracked. Close to Tyler. Okay. What's the weather in uh, Athens, Texas? Okay. <sighs> November 14, 2022. Uh, today is Loosen Up Day. Uh, National Pickle Day. I, I gotta go buy some pickles. I, I'm gonna do something. Uh, with pickles. So I got to go buy some pickles. Anyway, operating room nurse day. And we are so grateful for the nurses that have been, and the doctors that have been tended to our brother. 44 in Whitney, Texas. Oh, King Charles birthday. Really? Well, happy birthday, King Charles. Yeah, I know it's going to be cold all week here too. Forty-four in Whitney. Okay, yeah, this is. Um, why does? Why did it do this? Why didn't it just graduate into it? That's what I want to know. So anyway, okay, yeah. Uh, update on my brother. As of yesterday, he's on the upswing because you guys have been pouring in the prayers and thoughts, and we do appreciate it. Me. And my two sisters have been blasting everybody. We we you would not believe. And um, no, in Michigan, ah, four inches of snow. You would not believe. I'm gonna let Rhonda tell that story um, about asking for prayers, and um, it's a good story. So I I'm gonna let her tell that. Hi, Miss Catherine. So, um, yeah, so we've been blasting everybody. I've been blasting you guys on here. Kelly's been blasting people on her page, uh, personal page. Rhonda's been blasting families and churches, and it's just been going all up. He has no, he has no clue. He has no clue because he's recouping. Um. I, you know what? I like the cold. I don't like the bitter, Sherry. I don't like where it dries your skin out because I can feel it and it hurts. And I don't like that. But I do like the cooler weather. And I have to sleep in cool weather, too. Somebody else would be freezing and I would be sweaty. So, But anyway, yeah, my brother has no clue. So the good sign, I will tell you this much because we're not allowed to give details. The family doesn't want us to give details. I will tell you, he's on the upswing. We still need prayers. But a good sign is he's getting bored. He's getting bored. And I'm going, yes, for boredom. <laughs> that means he's, he's, he's ready. He's, it's time to heal. It's time to get going. So, um, yeah, so I'm happy. Let's put it that way. I'm happy for the upswing. I want to see more ups. You know, every day I want to hear good news because he's been in the hospital for a month. Okay. And it's hard. You know, it's hard on the kids. Okay. I've got to call you back, young lady. Okay. Um. 
So, I know. Oh, my gosh. that That's what I say, darling. Uh, Mom said, okay, he's getting bored. Okay, that's a good sign. <laughs> it's time. Let's get the muscles working. Let's do, I mean, he's been still for so long. Um, they gave him his um, cell phone yesterday. I don't know how much he can operate it right now. But they gave, I don't know if he's watching. If you're watching, keep going, keep going, keep going. Anyway, um, he got his cell phone yesterday. He, might, he, he got his cell phone yesterday. And I said, okay. So I texted him. What did I text him? Hang on, I'll tell you. Um, because I'm a... I'm an aggravator. Um, so whether he gets it, I don't know. You know, his. And the fan on low. Yeah, it was cold in here last night, but I'm not turning the heat on. I did get up this morning and turn the heat to on. But it was warm enough for it not to kick in. Let me see. Where is he? Okay. Where did I go? Okay, wait a minute, you guys. I wanted to show you. Let's see. Where did, maybe the text didn't go through. Because I'm not, I'm not bright. I'm telling you, I'm not bright at all. Maybe it didn't go through. Um, I did a group message with me and the other siblings. So, may, oh, there he is. Okay. So I found, you know, because mom told me what was going on. I said, Rick, Ricky, this is what we call him. Um, Ricky, how is our big brother doing? Better every day, I hope. Mom said you had your cell phone. So peace and quiet is now over. Get well soon. <laughs> um, whether he sees it or not, I don't know. Because I don't know uh, what they got going on with him. But I want to start the connection so that he can um, do his thing uh, when he is able. I don't, I, I don't know his situation about that. But anyway, okay, back. See how I got sidetracked? Today is World Diabetes Day. Now, today in history, November 14th, 1832, the first streetcar went into operation. That was 1832. Interesting. Um, 1851, Moby Dick by Herman Melville is published. Did you guys have to read that in school? Um, 1896, hydropower plant in Niagara Falls begins operation. 1968, Yale University goes co-ed. That's in 68. Oh, my goodness. I bet that was something. Okay. Uh, 1988, television sit. Tom Murphy Brown premieres. Do, have y'all, uh, do, do y'all remember watching Murphy Brown? I loved that show. I loved it. I don't know if you can catch reruns on it now or not. I don't know. Okay. Now, we've got famous birthdays. 1840, Claude Monet, painter. 1889, Jawaharlal Nehru, Prime Minister of India. The, I love that show, Miriam. I don't know if you can find it anymore. Um, okay. Uh, 1896, Mamie Eisenhower, First Lady of the United States birthday. I know it was. It was just a grace. It was different for its time, wasn't it? Um, um, 1900, Aaron Copeland, composer. 1908, Joseph McCarthy, U.S. Senator, led 1950s anti-communism probes. Uh, 1929, McLean Stevenson, actor. 1948, Prince Charles. Happy birthday, mister. Um, 19, actually, he's king now. Sorry. Excuse me. Don't lock me up. I miss the old comedy shows, too, Miriam, because it's, they were, those shows, I don't know. It's it's a mostly family oriented shows, you know.
She had side effects. Uh, this is Sherry. Read her thing. Side effects. Making her eyelids swell? Well, that's something new. Okay. Good, good, Sherry. Y'all read her comments. Uh, read Sherry Warren's comments. Darlene, I can still remember the episode when she was giving birth, the funniest. And you know, I don't remember that. Wasn't it Murphy Brown that had the live-in painter? Or did I get that show wrong? Somebody kept, was painting at somebody's house and never left. It was just there. He was there forever. It might not be Murphy Brown. Okay, King Charles, happy birthday. I'm sorry. Um, you are now the king. 1954, Gondolisa Rice, National Security Office Secretary of State, uh, State for uh, Bush Administration. So, yay. We got, was it her? Was it that show? <laughs> that reminds me of a lady that I used to clean house for. She goes, Kathy. Because she was the same age as my kids. She says, Kathy, she said, because uh, she was having her bathroom remodeled. She said, I said, well, where'd you find this guy? Blah, blah, blah. You know, because I'm, I'm, always, I'm always afraid people are going to get ripped off. So got through all that. And she said, um, I'm not supposed to leave. I said, I will watch out for you. Go ahead and run your errands. I'm here. Don't worry about it. Eldon. Yep. Um, so this guy, it was taking him forever. It was taking him forever to the point. She was crying because she lost her summertime with her children, which they would go away. She said it was so bad. So finally, I said, let your husband handle it because he's a guy. <laughs> I said, let your husband handle it. So that he can, you know, put a deadline on this dude. So he did. And the guy, he said, if you want to get paid, um, we have a deadline. For every day you're past the deadline, I will deduct $100. Or whatever he said. And it worked. The guy got finished. But he was there in and out forever. Forever. It should not have taken that long. It's like, you know, as she was to the point where she was done. She was crying. It was horrible. She couldn't, she just couldn't handle it because she was used to taking her kids and doing things and she couldn't because the guy was in the house. And I don't blame her. Because when I was downstairs and heard the guys upstairs talking, I don't blame her for wanting to stay there. But anyway, so um, they did a beautiful job on the, um, but it took that. Always give people a deadline. Don't leave it open-ended because he's, he's, he told him, he said, I'll pay you for what you've done. But from here on out. If you want the rest of this job, you have to agree agree to a deadline. So he did, and he got done. He got out of there. Um, so anyway, okay, we do have, uh, let me do the inner peace card. These have been sitting around for six years, and I'm finally doing something with them. It's the inner peace cards. I don't know where I got them. I don't know. I don't know where I got them. I think I got them from a... You know how you do a, go pick up stuff for free from a, a free marketplace thing? Um, so anyway, let's see what this says. It says, I focus on what's really important in life. Now, here we go with this focus thing. Talk about focus. Let's see if it focuses. Is it going to focus? I'm practicing, y'all. Y'all have to have patience with me. There it goes. Okay. And it says, it has um, quality rather than appearance. That's me. Um, ethics rather than rules. 
integrity rather than domination, knowledge rather than achievement, serenity rather than acquisitions. Wow. I know I love them. And I figured I'd do it with you guys on my once a week, whatever. Hard to tell what I'm going to do next year. I'm going to add to videos. I just don't know what I'm going to do. But I'm going to add to videos because that's the way the messages are getting out these days is through videos. People don't, like Kelly said, people don't want to read anymore. Don't forget to sign up for her blog, y'all. Um, she's doing a beautiful job, especially if you want recipes and stuff and tips, um, sign up for her blog. And if you want to be a supporter, you subscribe. Well, there's different ways for you guys to support. So our next Facebook subscriber, uh, which is $4.99 a month until, you know, whatever, if you want to cancel, that's cool. Uh, we're not really, we don't harp. We just trying to gather subscribers for our, um, cause that's how we paid for our, um, between Facebook bonuses or whatever. And, uh, our subscribers, this is how we, um, got our, uh, camera. Okay, the next one, we um, already sent out the one. So the next subscriber receives doTERRA, as long as it's a USA, uh, doTERRA SOL number three hand lotion from Rhonda. Oh, here we go with the focusing. Wait a minute. I got to remember to do this. It's got, it's like slow motion, maybe not. There it is. It takes a minute. There we go. And it's 3.3 uh, ounces. It's from Deterra. And you guys, anybody want to subscribe, it's $4.99 a month. And you're automatically entered into our group, which we're trying to work on that too, um, to make sure we don't forget you guys. Uh, but, but we are excited about this camera, just to let you know. And the funny story about this camera, I'm getting all set up. Make sure your static electricity is no longer in your body because I went to touch the camera and it went pop and the camera shut off. I'm going, I killed my camera. <laughs> but it was okay. I got it back on. It just scared me because I thought, oh, crap. I thought I shorted something out. So, yeah. So next time y'all get a nice camera, remember, don't touch it in the wintertime. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, let me show you what we're reviewing today. It caught my eye. I had to run, of course, to Aldi, and I don't know where my receipt is. Okay, let me look for it real quick because I have no clue. Oh, that's not it. And that's not it. Oh, a hint for you guys uh, for budgeting. Hi, Milton, how are you? For budgeting. I love all these because they're cheaper. You just don't get a whole lot of variety, but I love that store. So anyway, so um, for budgeting, um, I went I went to the grocery store uh, not too long ago to Aldi's and I said, okay, I'm gonna try, let's see if I can budget instead of just running and getting stuff. So I bought an Aldi's card and it's, uh, you can uh, add to it. So I wrote, I wrote groceries on it. So I know it's mine and not a gift. And um, um, so I'm going, I, I'm smarter than what I, what did mom used to say? I'm smarter, I'm smarter than I think I am or something like that. So I decided to buy a, a um, a gift card for myself 
so that when I pop in there for odds and ends, I've got this to use because it's already budgeted. I talk about smart. Other people, my daughter does that. She goes, don't give me money. If you give me money, I got to put it in a gift card because if I got cash, I'm going to blow it. So, um, so I thought, well, let me do this. And, um, I've only had to use it twice, but I had to remember I had it right. And I'm going, okay, I like this idea. I like this idea. This is what I'm going to try to do from now on. And there's only so many stores that I visit as like on a regular basis. So I might just go ahead and do that. Um, like maybe I don't like Walmart, but golly day, you know how that goes. Um, one other store and see if that helps. That way you're putting, it's like putting money in an envelope, only I've got it on a card and that's to last me uh, for the month. But I don't think you can, uh, can add to the Walmart cards. I don't really know. But anyway, so I, I'm proud of myself y'all. Um, okay. Um, okay. I've got the receipt here. I am just so proud of myself for doing that. I'm going, oh, I remember I've got the Aldi's card. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. This is what we're test driving. And you know what? I tried to look for something other than food so that we could try it out, but I didn't see anything that was... Ten dollars or under. Okay. The first thing I saw, and I'm going, oh, 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 oh man, I want to try this because I can't imagine. So I'm gonna try. I want to try this. I walked past it and I said, nah. But then I said. Oops. There we go. Is it trying to focus? There we go. It's um, specially selected, which is for them, you know. I know. I can't. I can't. Catherine. Hi. I can't. The only time that I go into uh, <clears throat> Walmart lately is when I have to. I don't want to. Okay, this is um, specially selected organic apple pie spice maple syrup. I'm going, how do they combine apple and maple? I don't know. But a serving size is two tablespoons which is 110 calories. Okay. So I saw this, I said, okay, I can make some pancakes. And then I said, no, I don't want to make pancakes. Um, so I bought these, they weren't that expensive. Okay. The, um, the maple syrup was 449 at all these and the French toast sticks are 299. Let's see if I can do this. There. Oh, that looks good. Maybe it has to be a bright color. And then these guys, a serving, I already know, a serving size is five sticks. And the calories are 310. Now, I, uh, I know, Catherine. Oh, I can't wait. I didn't want to open it up because I knew I'd sneak. Okay. Uh, okay, French toast sticks automatically. They don't look like typical um, homemade. They don't look homemade. Let's put it that way. Okay. But it's for, it's for um, testing. So we're going to try it and we're going to see. And I'm excited, and it better be good. Oh, I might try it. There we go. Ah. 
Okay. It smells spicy. Okay. It's clear, so I don't even know if it's real. But this, I'm going to make a mess, so we'll do it this way. If y'all, if y'all only knew, I am a spiller. I spill everything. I don't even have to touch it, and I spill it. Piggly wiggly, yeah. I don't know. I, I'm, I, I don't know. I just don't. I'd rather not go to Walmart, but sometimes I have no choice. <sighs> and it's getting bad, y'all. Watch your parking lots. Okay, I'm going to dip it is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pour. Oh, it's real thin, real thin, real thin. Watch me spill this sucker. Okay, let's do it this way. Here we go. I'm excited. It's not overpowering apple, spice, whatever. I don't know, guys. I'm disappointed. It's got like that aftertaste. Nope, I won't buy it again. It doesn't taste, it doesn't. <sighs> I was wondering how they were going to mix it. I don't taste the apple pie spice. Just a tiny little after, so I wouldn't buy it again. Just the spices, yeah. Well, I kind of think that's what this is. The spices for apple pie. But I was wondering how they were going to mix it because it was like, what? How are you going to do that? Um, I got to put the top on or I'm going to spill it. I don't trust myself. Okay, let's read it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try to read it. Organic Vermont maple syrup, and which I love, love real maple syrup. Organic spices. That's it. That's why you can't taste apple. It's the spices. Oh. Apple pie spice. It's just the spices in it, which is okay. But I wouldn't, I would not go the extra mile to get this. I would prefer just to have the uh, real maple syrup. If you guys buy the cheap stuff at the store and then turn around and spend a couple dollars more for real maple syrup, you will know what I'm talking about. You cannot, there's, you got to have real maple syrup, just like honey. They're so, it's so different than the stuff in the store. It, it, it's got to say raw honey. That means it's real. It's raw. It's not nothing done to it. There's a big, big difference. My brother, um, the one that's recouping and my brother-in-law, um, do honey. And, um, you taste my brother's honey from Tennessee with all their flowers and blooms. And then you taste the brother-in-law's honey, excuse me, from here. They taste different. And it depends on the field that the bees are in, too. So, I'm disappointed, but I will eat this. It's not, like, horrible. But I'm just, I thought I was going to get more spice or an apple flavor. I'm, I, I tricked myself, I guess. <laughs> because it's apple pie spice, not apple pie flavor. It's apple pie spice. You know, the cinnamons and all that. I know, same thing, Jan, with this. These uh, French toast sticks are just 
I only bought them for to taste this. I'll eat them later, but I can taste a little bit of the spice now. But it's not. I'm disappointed. But that's the reason I do this. So y'all can see my excitement or disappointment. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Okay. All right, guys. Let's see. Don't forget, if you want to help support our um, craziness, um, you can. There's many, many ways you can do that. You can also follow us. <clears throat> Follow us on YouTube. We're going to have another um, on Thursday after we celebrate Rhonda's birthday or after our video, after our live. We're going to do uh, catch up uh, um, the last three episodes of Sister Wives. And um, you can tell we're not happy with Cody. Um, so watch for that video. It's going to be, it's going to be. It'll take me a day to add any letter if I want to, if I want to edit it or just leave it go. Um, but you, I have to do some editing. So you have to give me a day for that. So sometime this weekend, I'll have that up on YouTube. So go ahead and subscribe there so you can see the next episode of what we think about Mr. Cody <laughs> on Sister Wise. Um, and I already told you about the uh, Christmas giveaway, so make sure you watch us. If you can't watch us, it should still be there, and you will hear what we're going to say about the giveaway, what you have to do. Oh, we're also doing a craft, so I'm excited about that. Darlene gave us the idea for the craft, and anytime you guys got an idea for something that's not real complicated for us to do on um, our lives, Go ahead and send us a message. We we don't mind. I don't know when we're going to see the message, the day of or the day after or whatever. But, yeah. <sighs> Put uh, Sherry saying cut half an onion, an orange, and, and put it in her turkey for stuff. And she rubbed with molasses. You did try it, Sherry? That don't even sound like it goes together, does it? Okay. Okay. Eleven forty-three, we'll see. Cause it's Monday. That's why. <laughs> oh Lord have mercy. I wonder if I can correct it while I'm on here. I don't think I can. Um Hang on, let me see. Yeah, edit name. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm learning something new. Thanks for telling me this, because I didn't know I could do this. I corrected it. Yay. Thank you, Jan. Everybody, everybody has to tell me. Um, because I'm I'm just a hurry up and get it done. And when you do that, it I get it wrong. But I did not know I could do that. So thank you for telling me because I just learned that I could do that. I thought I was going to knock you off. But that's good to know. Okay. See, I learn something every day. Okay. Um, I will be posting this. We used to go live at the same time on YouTube. Uh, we have more friends here. So it was messing up. So I will take a copy of this and upload it to YouTube for anybody. You know, some of your friends may not. Uh, uh, Jan. I swear. <laughs> I'm so stupid. But see, now I know I can correct it. <laughs> anyway, so, um, it's, like I know some people that don't do Facebook. I don't know why. They're scared of it or something. 
uh, but they will look up YouTube. So um, tell your friends that don't have Facebook, if they can't catch, if they don't do Facebook very often or whatever, they can catch what videos we upload because that's where we store our videos. Um, I swear, Jan, I know I'm not writing ahead sometimes or all the time. Uh, what else do I got to tell you guys? Just remember, inner peace, inner peace. <laughs> um, yeah, keep our brother. We'll keep you updated. Keep him in your thoughts and prayers. And um, um, just, you know, we blasted the world with this. Uh, um, uh, my sister will tell you her story. Rhonda, uh, I'll remind her to tell you her story about um, us blasting everybody with prayers, uh, asking for prayers and thoughts and stuff. And, um, you know, we just, we're sisters and we were, if we do, we have to collect the positivity and the good health. We have to collect it when our brother's in trouble and we're not there. <laughs> So uh, now Rhonda and mom were there for his first surgery. So um, it was, it was, it was, I don't know what to tell you. It was uh, more than critical. Let's put it that way. He was, um, and, um, but now he's he's on the upswing, so we're happy. We're happy, 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 as long as he keeps going that way. Um, okay. Uh, like I said, I'm going to concentrate on more videos this coming. I'm getting in the swing. Um, one of the other things um, that I was doing for my Kathy's Online Sales was I was studying up on the whatnot thing. It's called Whatnot. It's a place to sell and auction and all that stuff. And um, so I've got that down pat so I don't have to concentrate on that as much. You can follow me and my family sales on um, Kathy's Online Sales. Kathy with the C, Kathy's Online Sales. And um, I make the same mistakes over there, Jan. <laughs> I'm always doing something. Um, and then... Um, and Kelly, of course, she's got her stuff. And I tried to um, tell y'all about, oh, let me see something. There's another banner that has some information on it, too. Um, and she, you, We've got a cash app for tips if you guys want to do that. Um, and make sure you subscribe to the blog. Um, I will be, I think I'm going to be getting off of, as as for me personally, off of Etsy because I have not been able to concentrate on my artwork. So I think I'm just going to um, get off that for a while, especially, um, I'll talk about that on Kathy's Online Sales. I'll be over there too. But anyway, so... Um, you know, all these websites have problems. So if something works for you, stick to it. The only problem I have with Facebook is they make changes, but they don't say, hey, this is what's happening tomorrow. And you go, what? Um, so, and everything's different from your mobile uh, and then your computer. You can do more on the computer than you can on the mobile. You can't do some things on the computer, but you can do them on the mobile, on your cell phone. It's like, so I'm hoping that things will straighten out for uh, 2023. It's got to go a little smoother. Uh, oh, I forgot to tell you, one of my uh, granddaughters got married over the weekend. <clears throat> it was beautiful. <clears throat> it was beautiful. You're walking down the aisle and the electric goes out. <laughs> so the music goes out and, you know, the grandparents go down and then the electric goes out. Come to find out there was a widespread electric outage and it, the, the electric went out. What in the heck? 
so everybody's scrambling, right? Everybody's scrambling and, and I'm going, you know, whatever. The wedding must go on, right? But there was no microphone. There was no music. And, you know, the bride wants music. Come on. Um, so they got, uh, they said anybody with the cell phone with Bluetooth, put the music on the blue, on the cell phone. And we've got a portable speaker. My daughter has one and it's really loud. So that served the purpose. Okay. No electric the whole time through the whole ceremony, which, okay. It was fine. Um, but then there was no electric in the hall. You couldn't use the restrooms because it was a an event place out in the country. So you couldn't use the restrooms. You couldn't use, do nothing. There was no lights on the inside. And everyone goes, okay, we'll get through this. We'll get through this. Okay, we'll get through this. It's still light outside. We're going to get through this. Um, and just as it was trying to get dark, um, the electric popped on. So that was good. So it ended up okay. It was nice. It was a beautiful wedding, outdoor wedding. Um, and of course the wind's blowing, <laughs> the wind's blowing my hair back. <laughs> so I wasn't all dressed up like everybody else. It's like, oh, come on, Kathy, quit being a hippie. Um, but anyway, okay. All right. Thanks, ladies. Thanks for helping me test drive this. Um, um, True, it's going to be something they'll laugh about, but it was not a laughing moment for the minute. Um, it's like, you know the bride wants music. I mean, she had her songs picked out. You know she wants music. And I felt bad. Um, but it was, um, it, the problem was solved. The event people or whoever was there. They, they, they solved the problem. Um, I don't know who had the speaker. If they had the speaker, they might have already. They might have had the speaker. Um, or maybe the DJ or whoever. But anyway, so because the wedding was outside and then the event was inside as far as the reception. Um, so, yeah. So it was... Um, had like an old fashioned photo booth, which is a smart idea. I don't know how much it cost her, um, but it's a smart idea. Um, it, they have a camera. Uh, it, it's different than the old fashioned ones, but they had a, a camera up and they had a countdown and the countdown was not on time with what you were doing. So they ended up silly. But anyway, um, no, not funny at the time, darling. So anyway, so the. So you got, the reason I think it's a good idea is because they spit out one copy for you and then they kept one copy for the bride and groom. So think about that. You know how some people do the, um, here's a camera, take pictures of the wedding kind of thing. Well, this way they could, it was free to us to do this. And, and so you go over there and you put your face in the camera and, and um, have your um, photo taken, silly photos. We did silly photos. I did, because uh, that's who I am. Um, did silly photos, and then um, she could see them later. We have a copy. Um, I would show you, but they came out really dark. I don't know why, but they came out dark. Um, so uh, you can have um, a copy, and she has a copy. And I thought that was brilliant. Yeah, that was brilliant. Of course, they had the dancing and they had the all the um, um, the meal and all that. It was really, really nice. It was um, um, good weather. We were scared to death like this much that it was going to rain, but it held out. It had rained all day and night before that. So anybody that wore heels, the heels stuck in the, you know how it works. I, I just, I didn't dress up, so I had um, uh, flats on, and I didn't have that problem. But anybody that had heels, like the pointy heels, they had that problem. So anyway, so that was good. Um, uh, and it, then you get to talk to everybody, you know. Um, 
people that you don't see every day. So that was good. Mama Sassy didn't get to go because she was um, um, checking on my brother in Tennessee. So, but that's okay. Um, she needs to be with her, her boy. All right. Thanks, ladies. I really appreciate this. We're still um, doing the test driving thing. So, so far, so good. It didn't. Um... Darlene, we're going to be on Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So remember to catch us, um, try to pop in, um, cause we're usually on an hour and, um, we're going to do that craft. You too, Sherry, appreciate it. Okay. Um, because we're going to, um, tell everybody that you gave us the tip on the craft and anybody else that's got a tip on, want to see us do something on our live go ahead, send us a message. Um, we'll let you know if we can do it or not or when we can do it. So, all right. Thank you very much, ladies. You made my day. Yay. Bye. Bye, sickle. All right. Thanks, everybody. Talk to you later. Me too, Darlene. Um, talk to y'all later. Bye.